Hello and welcome to this channel. Today I'm going to show you uh, an extension of what I was doing with iron motors and decided to try a Slayer exciter coil that I built earlier. And here it is, it's a very compact Slayer exciter coil. It's just a couple of inches tall and it uses 40 gauge wire. And uh, this one can develop a corona and it's powered off a uh, 12 volt power supply. So I'm um, kind of interested to see if this could actually drive a, an iron motor. And uh, what I've done is I've cut some baking foil again and folded it into this kind of configuration. It's just one layer thick this time. And uh, placed it on top of the Slayer type exciter coil to see um, if this would work or not. So I'm um, just going to make sure that it's it turns relatively freely, and it seems to. I mean, there's a little bit of resistance. So I'm going to turn it on now and see what that does. And that's pretty amazing that that works. And there's actually Corona coming off the coming off the uh, iron motor. So it's really like a, a plasma motor. But it does seem to work, even with that big uh, rotor relative to the size of the coil. Now I'm going to try a smaller motor, a rotor, which I have here, and see what that does. A much Hang smaller on rotor on top, and I actually added a piece of styrofoam, because it, it's got a tendency to fly off and fall and short out the coil. So I've, um, I'm about ready to start this up and see what it does. There it goes. And it's going much faster than that bigger one really spinning at quite a speed. Oops, it stopped. Let's see if we can uh, re make it go again. There it goes. And there's actually plasma still coming through. It's burnt right through that piece of styrofoam that I put on top to stop it from flying off the top. So there's a bunch of plasma coming off that. You can see it coming off both ends of the coil and coming off the uh, off the top. Quite a bit of plasma to spare here. And it's uh, producing quite a bit of ozone. I can actually smell the ozone that's being generated around this thing. And I'm not really getting any significant heating of the transistor. Looks like that styrofoam is going to melt into a glob. Let's see what this looks like with the lights completely off. Hang now on this second. is with most of the light off. And there's some corona shooting out from this Slayer type uh, exciter. Well, folks, thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show you this, a uh, plasma motor or iron motor being driven by a small little uh, Slayer exciter coil.